Hey everyone, so today we are going to go over 50 streamer tips for dummies. I get asked a lot of questions on how to be a streamer, so I decided to make a series called Live Streaming for Dummies. And the first video that I made called Live Streaming for Dummies, how to go live on TikTok and Twitch at the same time, you guys seem to enjoy it, so I'm back with another one. So without further ado, here are 50 tips I have for people who are just starting to stream. And if you've been streaming for a while, but don't know how to get your channel to the place where you want it to be, you can still take a lot of these tips and tricks. So my first tip that I have for everyone is just start. You're not going to have a stream if you don't just start. And sometimes just starting is the hardest part. And some people are like, well, I'm just waiting to get a PC or I'm just waiting to get that fancy camera. I'll tell you right now, when I first started streaming I used a really old DSLR that I had my MacBook Pro and an iPad and that's all I had I didn't even have a mic and what I did was I set up my laptop downloaded slobs and started streaming now was the quality the greatest no but I was getting used to streaming which is super different and hear me out I went to school for film and theater I studied live broadcasting I know how it is but doing it on your own and doing it in your bedroom in front of a camera can be a little weird so just getting used to it and even if the only tool that you have is an iPhone you can start streaming straight off your iPhone without having Streamlabs or OBS just so that you can get used to it and putting yourself out there the second tip is play with your friends I know a lot of people say oh well uh, you know I have the equipment but I don't know I'm just nervous to stream to zero people and everybody starts streaming to zero people it's just how you start but a good way of getting over that fear of streaming to zero people is inviting your friends online and playing games with them. I started streaming during the Among Us era, so I asked all my friends to hop on a Discord chat while we played Among Us. And keep in mind, I was playing Among Us on an iPad and Bluetooth screen sharing my iPad to my MacBook Pro and streaming from there. I made it work, I made it happen. And I played with all my friends and they all watched my stream and one thing led to another and my view count just kept going up and up. What gets me to my next tip, number three, play with viewers. I get people saying, well, I don't have friends to play with. And that's okay, you don't have to have friends to play with. Start playing with viewers. Let's say you play Fortnite, start playing solo and if somebody hops in your stream and they're like, hey, I love Fortnite. Be like, you want to hop on with me? They might say yes. A lot of people are looking for community and for friends on the stream. So I personally have met people from stream that I now play games with. So play with your viewers and they're always going to be asking you if you can play with them. They love it. Nice. Tip number four, ask your friends to watch your stream. I know I talked a little bit about this on tip number two, but having your friends watch your stream is extremely helpful just so you can hit that affiliate marker. Tip number five, do not do it for fame or money. You are going to get nowhere with that attitude. I am telling you, stream brings in money for some people, but for the vast majority, you're seeing pocket change. And a lot of people say, well, Kat, you have over 50,000 followers on TikTok. Why don't you go full time on streaming? And the answer is I can't afford it. Keep your day job. And if you don't have a day job, then keep grinding on stream, but don't expect to become a millionaire overnight. Tip number six, have stream etiquette. This is something I wish I was taught when I first started streaming, but it's okay. I didn't get yelled at. I didn't get called out. I just learned. For example, something that you don't want to do is go into somebody's stream and say, hey, I'm a streamer. Come check out my stream. Or, hey, I stream and I play Fortnite. Can you play with me? Can we collab? Can we play together? No, God! Not the best idea. Go into chat, have a good time, enjoy their stream. It's not about you. And I did that once. I went into an Among Us streamer's chat and I was like, hey, I play Among Us too and I stream it. We should play sometime. It was very awkward. That was my first chat in the chat. And now when people do that to me, I, I roll. I get so frustrated. And I'm like, can you just watch my stream for what it is? But you live and you learn. And I wish somebody told me that when I started streaming. Tip number seven, interact with your viewers. The amount of times people come into my stream saying, thank you so much for talking to me. Boggles my mind. I'll have maybe 200 viewers on TikTok. I will read every single comment and people are shocked all the time. They'll be like, my favorite streamer doesn't read their chat. So it's really nice that you're reading chat right now. And listen, if you're like Ninja or if you are like Valkyrie or Pokemon, it's impossible to read every single comment in your chat. But don't ignore chat if 
you know, you have 10, 15, 20 people in your chat. Don't ignore chat, period. Try and read every single chat. It's super, super important. Tip number eight is to be consistent. Let's say your view count starts going up. You have five, six consistent viewers. They're gonna wanna come to your stream often. So stay consistent. If you're gonna stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday, show up on stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Don't stream at random times. You want people to expect when they can watch your stream. Tip number nine, choose the right platform. You can stream on platforms such as YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, even Kick. But make sure you have an idea of your target audience before you pick a platform. And spoiler alert, you don't have to pick a platform, but pick your main platform and, and start there. Now, I'm gonna start getting into my little marketing zone right now, but each platform has a different target audience, right? For example, if somebody were to stream on TikTok, sometimes you might find a younger demographic on there versus K. So if you wanna start streaming to a younger audience, maybe a game like Fortnite where you know younger kids are on, I would recommend going on to TikTok. Number 10, multi-stream. I noticed that my Twitch streams started getting more successful when I started streaming on TikTok and vice versa. So be sure to test out different platforms and see which one works best for you. You smart. Tip number 11, find your niche. Whether your niche be a multicam setup or if your stream is just really cozy and chill vibes, then stick with that niche. Finding a unique niche will always help you stick out. Tip number 12, learn basic tech skills. Understanding how to use an open broadcast system, how to use a camera, how to set up lighting. You can simply go on YouTube for this or take a class, but it's super important to know what you're doing technically because those technical difficulties are gonna happen on stream and you're live it's like live television you need to fix those technical difficulties quick and under pressure of however many people watching you tip number 13 have engaging overlays whether that be your follow overlay your sub overlay i personally have really fun channel point overlays like this one fuck your life bing bong so people really like to interact with the stream and follow sub and rack up those channel points so that they can do things like that and if you want to learn how i did that pop-up channel point leave a comment below letting me know you want a video on channel point alerts tip number 14 find your brand i've seen brands that were horror based i've seen brands that were boba based i've seen nostalgic brands everything find a brand that you're really into and try and mimic it I know when I first started, I incorporated a lot of SpongeBob in my stream. So when I pull back my green screen, you can see Squidward back there. I have a lot of SpongeBob stuff from my past. So I incorporated that into my stream and that turned into my brand. Number 15, probably one of my favorite tips is networking. Collaborate with other streamers, join discords for streamers, go to TwitchCon, go to all these different conventions and meet new people. When I first started, I did a lot of podcasts. I got to meet a lot of new people and learn about streaming from them. Tip number 16, stay positive. I've had moments where I was sitting at zero views the entire stream and it showed in my face. So when new people would join the stream before I even noticed, they would notice that I was just in a weird mood and they would click out instantly. So keep it positive. Even if you have like two viewers, keep it super positive, keep it happy, keep it moving. Don't just end your stream there. I, I used to have a habit of doing that and I get it. It's so common, but try not to do it. Stay away from that. Tip number 17, stream stream variety. Offer a variety of content in the beginning and see what works for you. If you play different games, try different games. For me, I really only play Fortnite, so I stick with either Fortnite or just chatting, but I try to make every stream different, so it's worth it when people come. Tip number 18, get some moderators and get some good ones. They are lifesavers. I love my mods. Tip number 19, people might disagree with this, but get a face cam. It just makes the stream more personal. I personally like watching streams when there are face cams, um, but I like when my streamer has a face cam that I can just talk to them. Again, not mandatory, just a little tip that I personally like um, so that I can at least uh, see you while you're playing games because I like when my streamers have like their facial expressions, things like that. I don't know, just a personal preference. Tip number 20, make sure you do a soundtrack before a stream. I you have no idea how many times i've watched my streams back and my audio was garbage and i'd be like why is my music so loud or why is my mic so low make sure you do a little sound check before a stream always really important it's going to save you that really frustrating vod watch 
tip number 21, channel panels. Make sure your channel panels look really clean, consistent, and they have your socials in there too so people know where they can follow you. Tip number 22, don't play games because you think it's gonna get you famous. Play games that you enjoy and that you're good at. But I will say, there are some games that don't tend to have a high viewer average. Again, this is preference. If you're really, really into a game that's super niche and nobody watches on Twitch, go for it and stream it. You could find that one person who really enjoys it and you might have a really good time streaming that game. Me personally, when I've played games that were super niche and I was the only person on Twitch playing them, my viewer count does go down again have fun with what you're doing do it because you enjoy it but if you're looking to grow your stream i'd recommend staying with games that have a little bit more of a community and an audience tip number 23 make your stream title clickbaity i'll put it out there right now i do it all the time make your notification title clickbaity sometimes i write cat gem has gifted you a sub and people click and they'll be like oh my god you gifted me a sub not ethical but it works and i love it i love to troll my chat tip number 24 be grateful for every single person who comes into your stream, whether they follow, they are a first time chatter or they sub, show them gratitude and thanks. Tip number 25, fix your green screen and make sure it's not garbage. <laughs> Tip number 26, take breaks if you need to. I have had that streamer burnout so many times, countless times, and uh, it sucks. So take breaks when you need to. Tip number 27, analyze your channel growth. Look into the analytics, see what time people come in often and when your viewers spike and what games people like to watch. Looking at those analytics are really gonna help figure out what your audience likes. Tip number 28, stay informed on what's going on in the community. When you're looped in, you're gonna have better conversations. Sometimes people will come in to my stream and they'll ask me questions about Fortnite that I don't know. And it's kind of embarrassing. And I gotta keep updated, keep on the loop. But my chat likes to explain to me everything that's happening. So it might work in your favor to not know what's going on. Um, but it's always good to have a pulse of what's going on in the gaming world and the Twitch world and the social media world. Tip number 29, one of my favorite tips is have good lighting. Even if that means you get your light from your bedroom and prop it up, learn about a good lighting setup. Personally, my my lighting setup is pretty bad so I can't talk but I know how to do lighting I just get really warm in here with all the equipment and I slack on that so I'm gonna write this note down for myself but get some good lighting tip number 30 once you are an affiliate you can start having emotes so go on fiverr.com and hire somebody who can make you fun emotes because it's just going to push your followers to become subscribers and get cute little emotes it's one of my favorite parts about subscribing to my channel tip number 31 announce that you're going live on different platforms it's really hard to grow just on twitch alone so get on twitter get on instagram get on on Facebook, even get on TikTok and announce to your viewers that you're live. I like to use Discord, that is my go-to, but really spread the word on all your socials. Tip number 32, learn from feedback. I know people have given me feedback in the past and I wouldn't listen because I thought that what I was doing was good enough. Nope. It's not. Now listen, don't take unsolicited advice. If somebody gives you advice that's like super subjective and goes against what you're into or against your art, then don't take it. Tip number 33, celebrate your milestones. People love hitting goals. So if you have a milestone of let's say 100 followers, maybe do a 100 follower party stream when you hit that goal. Tip number 34, have a consistent username across all social channels. This is just gonna help people find you in visibility. Tip number 35, publicize your schedule. Some people will find your socials. Let's say you posted a TikTok and it went viral and people were like, hey, I would love to watch this streamer next time they go live. Let me look and they can't find your stream schedule. Chances are they're not gonna see them when you go live. So they're not gonna come back. So have that consistent stream schedule in a public place, whether that be Discord, your bio on social accounts, maybe even tweeting a graphic and pinning it at the top of your Twitter. Just having that consistent schedule is really gonna help people show up. Tip number 36, learn marketing and learn SEO. It's really helpful. So SEO is search engine optimization. I know this works really, really well on YouTube, but I made my YouTube title, Live Streaming for Dummies, How to Go Live on TikTok and Twitch at the same time. And most of my viewers came from a Google search. So learn SEO. I don't wanna explain the whole thing right now. This video is gonna be too long. 
tip number 37, have some rules. Don't be afraid to put rules in place so that your community feels safe and protected. Tip number 38, this goes very hand in hand with that networking tip, but this is planning collaborations with people. If your friend is a streamer, you should reach out to them on Discord. Don't do it in their chat while they're streaming, that's annoying. Do it in Discord and say, hey, I would love to play Fortnite with you on stream one day. We should do a multi-stream. How does that sound? If they say no, then you move on. Sometimes people will say no. Move on, you got this. Just try and collaborate with other people. And yeah, keep asking, because there will be people who want to collaborate with you. Tip number 39, post your clips on other platforms so like i said sharing your stream on other platforms being active on other platforms is so important but share your stream clips funnel people to your twitch tip number 40 content planning make sure you know kind of what you're doing in your stream sometimes i just hop on games and see what happens but for holidays i like to plan different holiday themed streams so keep it fun keep your viewers engaged and know what you're gonna do because sometimes if you don't streams can get a little boring Tip number 41, learn from other streamers. Uh, when I first started streaming, I studied other streamers that I really, really enjoyed. And I tried to do what they were doing. I wouldn't copy necessarily, but I would take everything that I liked from them and combine them into my little leash. And sometimes it doesn't work. And sometimes you learn, wow, that person does this really well, but I don't. So I'm gonna stay away from that. It's all a learning process. Tip number 42, organize events for your streams. These events, like I said in a prior tip, having like holiday events are always super fun and people really come and join those streams if you promote them beforehand for example i like to do carving pumpkin streams on halloween i like to do costume parties on halloween i one time even played five nights at freddy's on halloween so having little different themes for the holidays are really gonna bring people in tip number 43 be authentic be yourself nobody can do it better than you and people read right through it unless you have like a character then it can be kind of fun but being authentic authentically you is the best way to get started. Number 44, Canva is going to be your best friend. Learning basic graphic design is super important, but Canva makes it super easy. This ain't sponsored. I am a social media manager at heart and I love Canva. So use Canva. It is going to save your ass. Number 45, learn from your mistakes. You're always going to make mistakes. Rewatch your VODs. Learn what you should and shouldn't do so that you're prepared for an extreme. Tip number 46, clickbait. Now, this is a little risky, but I love it. And this isn't just like title clickbaits like we talked about before. No, this is different. So when I go live on TikTok, I pretend like I am playing with a Wii remote on the bottom. And uh, that's what I consider clickbait. People get really pissed. So sometimes if I'm not in a good mental space, I just turn it off because I don't want those weird people commenting on how I'm not playing on a Wii and that I suck because it's going to bring in the trolls. But when I like to invite the trolls in, I... I, um, pretend that I'm playing on a Wii and it works every time. Tip number 47, have fun. If you're not having fun, stop. Nobody's holding this against you. Tip number 48, stream longer than an hour. This is something that I had to learn early on, but keep grinding. Even if that means you stream for like two hours, stream along, sometimes people won't even see that you're live until like an hour or two in. So keep going. Even if you don't have many people there in the first hour, keep going. Okay, the last two tips are for people who have been streaming for a little bit longer. And these are just my tips for people People who want to up their setup up their streaming setup so here we go tip number 49 try and have two monitors it has changed the game for me i have three currently i have this one up here where i read my chat and i put it next to my camera so it looks like i'm kind of looking at the camera so i'm not like totally looking away from chat i'm looking almost at them and then i have my gameplay monitor right here and then i have my miscellaneous monitor here it has changed the game invest in more than one monitor i love it oh and i have obs up here too and number 50 my tip for every single streamer out there whether you are streaming on a macbook with a one light or a million lights and a huge pc or like eight pcs in your room have a window in your room or ac or a fan or something your stream room is going to get so hot so keep hydrated keep cool please be safe that's my only 
only advice. Anyway, I hope these tips helped. It was kind of hard coming up with 50, I'm not gonna lie. So hopefully this helps you on your streaming journey. If you take anything away from this video, it is to just start. You cannot become a streamer if you don't just start. You can't do anything if you don't just start. And sometimes hitting that start streaming button is going to be the hardest part of streaming, but I promise it is so worth it. If you like this video, please comment below on what your favorite tip was. And if you've gotten this far in the video, drop your Twitch channel because I want to stop by and drop you a follow. And I can't wait to see what you stream next. Bye guys!